Hi everyone, this is Aya, and I'm back with another deck review. Uh, today we're going to be exploring the Harmony Tarot. Now, uh, this deck, this was a surprise for me because I was not really, I just purchased it um, without uh, seeing any reviews and not exactly knowing what it is. I just saw the box. It said Harmony Tarot, I have like Happy Tarot, I have like Karma Tarot, I have like uh, a lot of uh, different um, tarot. So I thought that Harmony would re relate to the tarot as um, tarot to find harmony or something like that. I apologize, but I didn't know who Harmony Nice was. And after I purchased the deck and I opened it and I kind of I went through it. So this is the first impressions. I have not used the deck because I don't know exactly how to use it, but we will just figure it out. It says a deck for growth and healing, and that's exactly what I thought, to find your harmony. Now, this deck is a little bit different than what I expected. So I'm still trying to figure it out, and I'm still trying to see how I can work with it, because I do enjoy using my decks, although I do have a lot of them. I, at the same time, do a lot of readings, um, because I'm a professional reader. So I do use most of my decks. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't know how to use it. I'm not quite sure. So this is the box. Let's just explore and we'll, we'll um, figure this out. This is the this is Harmony Nice. I, from what I figure out, because I Googled, Googled her to, to see who she is. Because it started saying the Harmony this, Harmony that. And I was like, okay, is this referring to a person and not just a, a word as Harmony? And it does, it refers to a person. So I think that she's a writer as well. She's pretty young when it comes to age. That doesn't really mean anything. I'm just um, pointing it out. And from my understanding, uh, she tried to put together a tool that you could use as a tarot uh, that involves, uh, I think, not witchcraft, but, um, okay, let me get the book because I think I saw that somewhere in here. That I started reading something with Wicca, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Here it gives her, um, not background, but her story about this deck. Okay, and it says Harmony. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, maybe next time I should be more prepared because I don't know where I saw this. Anyway, so this is a deck that is for healing and it involves... It was made for that reason because I think that she found herself in a very weird uh, spot in life, um, not feeling really good, really confident about herself and stuff. And I think that she decided to create this tool so that she can help other people as well uh, when they're in need to have um, insight into information. So that's what I think it is, and a modern witch. Okay, so it does go into witchcraft and stuff like that, I am assuming. Now, the book... It's not really helpful to me. There, there are things that, okay, let me put this on the side so that we can start talking about it. This is the deck. Uh, I like the backs. These are the front. It does have a bent. I don't know why I have not used it. This is how it came. And then size-wise, this is the same, I would say, as uh, the original right away. The cardstock, it's kind of a okay. No problem there. The thing is, what do you do with this deck? So let's just start. So I think it goes into this um, tradition of witchcraft, I guess. And the major arcana, the problem with the major arcana, not a problem, but something that makes it so hard for me to work with this, is this. Probably because I'm not uh, familiar with uh, witchcraft and stuff. Maybe if someone is, they would uh, know exactly what this refers to. I have no idea. So I would assume that the, the book would just help or the image. Now we get here a title, okay? But the title doesn't really say anything. Because if you're not, it says forget me not. I don't know what that is. Or it says, this is like the, the flower here. Because I read it, that's how I know that. The divine, I don't know what the, the divine has to do with this. Okay, that's the lovers, we know that. The lighthouse so that will be probably the the tower now there are no numbers here as you can see for the majors so if you work with a deck that's why i was trying not to because then i would have to put it back in order what i would have to is take the book uh, so you depend on the book a lot 
I would have to take the book and kind of go through it. So where is it? Where are the majors? Okay, so here are the majors. So here we also get a, a, a word, a simple word. So if you're going to be using this, for, I don't think that this is for a beginner, no, nowhere near a beginner. And I'm not quite sure because I, I consider myself pretty, uh, I'm, I'm, I've been working with the tarot for a lot of years on a personal level and I have a lot of experience. So uh, I don't know. I don't know if, if, you, if you're not into witchcraft, I don't think that you can work with this deck. If you're about to explore witchcraft, maybe you could you could use this deck. I'm not quite sure how to how to do things. So this doesn't really sound like a good review, but it's not a review, it's a first impressions. So I think I'm gonna use it and then come back again and see how I feel. So maybe my mind will change and maybe I will uh, have found a way of doing it. Actually, I was thinking of contacting her and having a um, discussion about this, what she thought or give us an insight and kind of help us out. And maybe I will do that. I will, we will see. So this is go back to the deck. So you have um, uh, a, the, a title and then you have the keywords here, but you don't get the keywords here. So if you don't know what it means, because some of them are just not, like you will get, let's say, the fairy uh, ring. I don't even, if I didn't, like if someone would just give me this title and tell me, what do you think would, um, what would be the correspondence in a uh, tarot deck for the majors? Maybe I would think, uh, I don't know, maybe the will because it's the ring and it's, but I really don't see the correlation. Like I, I don't, I don't, I cannot pick it up. And that's what happens with me and most of the majors here. So I would prefer, like I cannot even use it as a, an oracle because I don't know what these, these words uh, mean, not all of them. So, and you're gonna say, you don't know what a cliff means. You don't know, you don't know what it, so the cliff, I would expect that to be the fool. And maybe it is, I don't know. And I would expect the ghost to be, I don't know. What could a ghost be? I, I have no idea. So I don't, so this, yeah, that I would, I would think that it's the will. Is it the will? But then you wouldn't know because it doesn't say here. So I'm not, just to, uh, I'm not sure. I do not know what I'm supposed to be doing with this. And I don't know if it's a tarot. To me, it's not even an oracle or it is an oracle. But it's not a tarot because I don't see the majors. I do understand that there's 21, 2, or maybe they have taken something out. I don't know what they're doing. Because let me let me see. I was thinking, do we okay, yeah, we get the sun, the the star, the sun, the moon. So maybe that's judgment. I don't know. I really don't know how to use this. If someone does know, and if you're using it as an oracle or some, then just let me know. Because the way I see this is I have to um, kind of uh, put in the time to understand what each card means by reading every single one of them and taking, you know, my notes and stuff and then start using it more or less as an oracle. I don't know if it's close to, because it has like um, close to earth readings, like uh, simplicity, travel and freedom, which is something that you could use for um, personal readings. But then again, like balance, fairness, moderation, and then love, union, conflict, understanding. The keywords are pretty good. So I would prefer to have the keywords here instead of just dawn. It was like, and then it is choices, decision making, logic, and organization. So I don't know. I really don't know. I'm so sorry. This is not a good review because it's not that it's not a good review. It's just I was expecting something else. So we get the Harmony Tarot, and this is not a tarot. I, I cannot work with it because I don't even understand the, the cards. I don't have the keywords. I don't have a number, so I cannot even relate. So if I, if I shuffle this right now, then I'm lost. I'm, that's it. I'm done. And every time I have, uh, if, 
when I'm going through it, I have to count. So one, two, three, four, five. Imagine that this is, let's say, uh, the fall. Because to me, the cliff could be the fall. Anyways, and then the next thing, and I don't know if you want to go through it, like see all the majors and then go through the minors. It's going to be a fast review either way. Um, is that the minor? They have the uh, the ace, the two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, page, knight, queen, and king. And then we do the same thing. Is the ace that is different, and then the two that you get like a key that is different here, and then you have like two flowers, and then you get another one. So it's three. So then it's four, and then it's four and one down here. So you have to be looking where where the difference is. So then then six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So then there's seven. But if you have these two together right next to each other, it's like, you know, with the readings that I do, this is not gonna work. And I know that. It's just not because I would have I would depend so much on the uh on the number that I get down here. And sometimes I do get um if you have seen the March reading, March for the signs that I have done, then you will know that I cut the deck. Because I don't do that anymore, but I usually do that for my uh, personal readings. And then I kind of uh, go like this, and I see the cards, and I read the cards. So how, how can I read the cards? It's the, it's the same image for me. It's all over. It's the same image. So I don't understand how I'm supposed to be using the minors, how I'm supposed to be using. Like, okay, do a reading now. You, you hold it like here, and you're doing a reading. How are you supposed to, to know what is what? This is just not easy for me. Whereas, let's say with um, the regular deck, like you can see. So I know this is the two of cups, the three of cups, the ace of cups. I pick it up like right away. It's like I see the difference because I get an image. And even with Marseille, you can, I don't have an, a Marseille right here, but you can pick it up. With this, it's just the differences are so uh, small that it's, and they're just, to me, they're, they seem to be hidden. It's like, because you get here like five, right? One, two, three, four, five, and then you get six. So if you don't see the number, how am I going to know kind of a thing? It's not that something different is happening. So I don't know how I'm exactly supposed to be using this. Maybe I could just uh, do this. What I'm thinking is take the major and just forget that this is a tarot and just write uh, the keywords on them somewhere with a pen or something so that I know what they mean. And then take out the minors and just hold um, the core cards, like the, um, the elements and the core cards. So I would just go like this, have the ace, and then the page, the knight, the queen, and the king. Because the core cards are very nice. I wish the whole deck was like that. Very nice. So if I do that, then I hold uh, the element, which is a lot of information by itself. And then the king, the queen, uh, the knight, and the page. And the majors that I would have to write what they mean, what they are, just the keywords. And I think that would work. So I'm kind of, that's, that's what I'm thinking that I'm going to be doing. But I don't know how it's going to read because I know the way, this is not for personal reading for sure. Because if I uh, cut the deck and I'm about to read for a customer and they'll be like, okay, so what's up? And I'm, I'll be like, I don't know. I have no idea. They all look the same. So you're going through a phase that it's just nothing's changing. It just looks the same to me. So, but it depends on the reader because a lot of people do like the cross, the Celtic cross, or they do like three cards. So then they lay them out. It's just the way I do my readings. So it's not a bad deck. It's just for me. Uh, it, it won't work exactly as I would like it to perform. And I don't think that the intention was to read with it. Like, I don't think that's what, that's what it says here. I think that it says that it is a spiritual tool to um, to offer, to use to, to, to improve well-being as well as for decisions and divination. Yeah, it says divination and decisions. Anyway, but it's to improve your well-being. So you can use it as a tool more than a tool to uh, do readings with. 
maybe. Okay, so I'll just go through the major, the major arcana, so that you see what they are. And I'm thinking that that is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to write um, the 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 keywords. Take out the minors. Keep the core cards and the elements. So then I'm going to be missing from two to. It's like having a majors, uh, majors deck, but then you get the advantage of having your core cards and your elements, which is awesome. And for the price that I bought it, because it wasn't that much, I think I spent like uh, 17 or 18 euros for it. It's, it's, it's very good, very good price. Okay, so let's just see. Uh, so this is supposed to be the full. Yeah, because it says freedom. Okay, so it's the fool. It's not the cliff that is the fool. Then this is the magician. Then this is new beginnings, growth, and nature. So that would be not the high priestess. New beginnings, growth, and nature. For it's the spring flower that signifies new beginnings. Uh, okay, hold on. So this is the fool, this is the magician, right? Because it said breaking free, conformity, and change. I'm not I'm not sure if that it, it would be the magician because it's a witch. So no matter what the keywords say, because that's not the keywords that I use for my magician. But either way, new beginnings, growth, and nature. If that is the high priestess, then that's not exactly what I would think that it means. And then we're going to the Empress. See, I don't think that it, it is what that what I'm saying right now because this would be the Empress, right? Because it's zero, one, two, three, right? But over here it says balance, fairness, and moderation. That seems more like a justice. So I don't even think that this is uh, the book and the cards are in the, the order that the majors are. So then we have skill, success, talent, and confidence. Skill, success, talent, confidence, skill, success. That sounds more like an eight of, uh, of pentacles to me. Like if you give me these keywords, I would say we have an eight of pentacles. Now skill, success, success with skill and talent and confidence. Very conflicting keywords, very, because the success is something that you get is an ending. So it's, you get the success. So it's the end of your execution that you have achieved your goal. The confidence is required prior. The skill is what you gain throughout. And the talent is something that you have like a charisma. So it's, I don't know how it's intent, an excess in skill and determination this card encourages. The use of your skills in order for you to show. Okay, so it's a directional kind of a card. Studying, practicing, or researching more and focusing. I don't even think that the keywords relate to the text. Because this talks about the skills and the progression of it and the usage of it. So how to use your skills. Whereas over here we get the confidence and the success that they're not part of the skill. It's, it's a progression. So if you have the skill... You, you gain the confidence because you're more confident that you can achieve something and then you're going to get in the success. I don't know. And I don't even think um, that this would be like the emperor. So, okay. So then it's the Hierophant. So this is the divine. Intuition, wisdom, deception, and spirituality. Some of them, they're okay. Now, deception, maybe if it's the reverse or uh, the shadow of it, but if it's the hero fund, I don't think that is deception. I would expect this to be more close to a magician. So the magician will be a the deceptive one, um, not the um, the hero fund. I don't think that he's deceptive in his ways. Anyway, so there there are, if if we're gonna relate it to a tarot, but now it seems that I'm having some um, things here with um, the keywords as well. Okay, so these are the lovers. So we have love, union, conflict, and understanding. So, okay, so we get a uh, shadow 
word as well in our keywords. So we have love, union, understanding, and then conflict. So it's the opposite, let's say, of your understanding will be the conflict. So a misunderstanding will bring a conflict through union and love. But see, like love, union is people coming together, but love is a state of existence. So a state of existence will not go along with understanding and conflict because they, these are behaviors. So this is behavior. This is a state of existence. I don't know how they go together in a, in a card. And I don't think that they're going to be explaining this here. So maybe what I would do is a uh, strength, stability, self-discipline, strength, stability. And this is the lighthouse strength. And what is the lighthouse? Strength is not the tower. Okay. I thought that this was a tower, but it seems that it's uh, number seven. So I'm kind of a lost here. Uh, stability, self-discipline. It seems more like um, the chariot. But on the other hand, it doesn't sound like a chariot. It sounds more of a strength because it says strength. And a chariot is not about strength. No, I'm not sure. You know what? Just make it an oracle. Just pick some of the keywords that are, they align with you and just use it it's your deck i'm still gonna use it i'm still gonna keep it it's just i i have not figured out a way to make it work for me and the way that it's put together it just doesn't um help me a lot but it happens from time to time that's why we're all so different so choices decision making logic and organization i do have a problem with uh the keywords as well choices Decision-making, logic, organization. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll just go faster. I'll go to the fair, uh, uh, fairy ring just because I thought it was the wheel of fortune and I want to see if I'm right. Irresponsibility, temptation, and habits. Okay. Irresponsibility is a behavior. Habits, temptation. So let's just say this is the shadow of your habits. Now responsibility is another shadow. So I would say more of a discipline. Um, but what does that have to do with the fairy ring? I have no idea because I'm not into witchcraft. So I do not know what that stands for. And maybe there is making decisions about breaking long-standing habits can lead you to emotional and physical exhaustion. It is important to find quiet time to read, educate yourself in well-being and find a focus to help replace the negative energy. Hobbies new or old could be nurtured at this time as well as journalizing, which will enable regular check-ins with your thoughts and feelings. Okay. Okay. Uh, where's the ghost? I want to see what, it, uh, what they say about the ghost. The ghost. Conflict, we do have another conflict somewhere here that I notice. So we get repeating keywords, as you can see. That's why I said, just pick some of the, of the conflict. So we get it for the lovers. I want to see if it's on the same ground or if, if they're using it. Because there's some decks that they might be repeating their um, keywords, but for a different reason. So this is conflict. Depression, return of negativity, and resolve. So it's more the conflict and it's progression. So conflict, depression. But now see, like the conflict, depression is a past situation. Conflict is something that it is happening. Like it's, um, this is more on the emotional. This is more on the behavior. Return, return of negativity. So this is a state of mind. And res I don't, I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not feeling this really. It's like it's not happening for me. Uh, transition endings. That's why I said, because when I first opened, I could not figure it out. Because I was like, okay, I want to prepare for this review. Because I don't understand what's happening. I thought it was the Harmony Tarot. It is Harmony um, from the person. And I was like, maybe I should contact her. But um, I didn't. Lack of balance. Great. Uh, compassion, selfless, selflessness, morality, lack of balance. 
and compassion. The lack of balance with the compassion. How are they related? Because if you're, if you're lacking balance, it's something, it's an inner, um, inner thing. So it's within you. The compassion is the expression that you have towards the outer world. So how you express yourself. The balance, like compassion does not come from balance. I don't know. That's what I, how I see my... Um, Okay, decisions, disagreement, good judgment. So the shadow is disagreement, good judgment with decisions. Trapped, self-destruction, okay. Hope comes, self-love, empowerment. Maybe the problem here is that I'm not uh, familiar with uh, witchcraft. Now see, the sun, for example, is um, healing. For me, it's very, very important for my star to hold the healing because healing gives you direction and it kind of releases the past and it gives you hope for the future. So these are the stars because it's the faith one. Uh, it's the connections one. It's the energy that is around you. Now the sun is the, is the actual direction that you get. Gratitude, plenty. So this is the expansion version of it. Okay. And then future. So, so this is the moon and has future changes. So for me, the moon has to do with the past. It's passive. It's in the yin yang. Uh, it's the yin. It's a passive uh, energy. It's something that you need to grow. It's something that you need. It's the the past present situation because unpredict unpredictability i don't see that with my mom i just don't so it, it seems that they have picked other um does it say why is a mystery it is everything that you can yet see and holds secrets so over here it says that it holds secrets so that has to do with the past Unforeseen circumstances that are to come. This card indicates a change or something new. Maybe an unexpected offer or gift. A new a figure in your life. A puzzling situation or a surprising change of heart. Confusion and fear of the unpredictable could hold you back from something great. Make your move and then embrace the changes to come. The moon is full of mystery. So gaining mental clarity and wisdom from it can be powerful. Moon meditation, charging crystals. So see how charging crystals and moon meditation is on the present. It's not about the future. And using them for positive guidance and useful um, are useful now. Keep yourself grounded too. Good fortune is a greater positive if nurtured in a sustainable way. Okay, the mirror. Detachment. Soul searching, self reflection. So this, these keywords for like the the, um, I guess that's the judgment, right? It, it could work. Self reflection, soul searching, but it has. You, you see how the keywords have layers. It's layered, so it needs to be um, condensed in the meaning. Okay, and then we have here, so that will be the world. Completion, rewards. Okay, and then we go into the minor. So let's just look at the core cards because I think that the element and the core cards are very uh, beautifully done. Okay, the rest is just the same. So we have this one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That goes here. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here. Winter. So this go here. This one. Okay. Here, page, king, queen, queen, king, queen. Here. And then the ace and... Okay. There. And then page. Okay. So something like that. Let's just look at this because I find that there's... 
there is a point in doing this. Now this probably I will just take it out because that's not really help me do the reading because they, they look the same if I hold them like this. And when I have a 21 spread, like a Romani spread, then I usually, uh, I clarify by um, turning cards that I would just do them like this. So then, is that in frame at all? <laughs> Maybe it's okay, there you go. So then I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to see it. So I'll just put these all on the side. I will probably not use them. And this is what I would use. So we have an ace of autumn. Oh, okay, so it's a uh, season. And then we get the page, the knight, the queen, and the king. And then another thing here is that we have, so this is the swords. This is the swords. Uh, where the knight of swords has a knife pointing down. Okay, ace of uh, winter. So Ace of Winter, Page, so another Knight, so it's not the Swords. The Knight, the Queen, and the King. So if, so all the Knights have a sword, let's just see. But a different flower and a different background, maybe, we'll see. Okay. Okay, yeah, so the Knight of Spring the page, the queen, the king, the ace, the ace of summer, the page, the knight, the queen, the king. All right, so that's what they, they, they have done. So it's a different flower for the pages, not the, the knights. So it's a different flower, but it's uh, the same knife pointing down. So you don't get the, um, the elements, you just get the season. So that's another change, something different that they have done here. You only get the season and you could just think of your winter as your swords or your winter as your pentacles, whatever you, how, however you use it. And that's good for me because uh, I have seen that sometimes people do switch the, um, the cross and the, um, the cycle of the, um, the elements. So it's a good thing that they give you the freedom to do that. Like they're not... Um, giving you an element for the season because not all of us use the same elements for the, the seasons. Okay, I think that was it. We'll, we'll, we'll do some readings with this and see how it behaves and how it reads. But that would require for me to sit down and get the keywords because the way it is, I don't think I can use it like straight away. Um, and if you do have something that you would like to say about this deck, that could help. Um, that That's an... Um, a feedback, a positive, a good feedback, then I I would love to read your comments or if you can do a response um, video on that and I will be more than glad to watch it. So that was that was about it. Thank you for watching it. Uh, thank you for taking the time. It was lovely doing this for you. Thank you. Have a good one.